Okay, so um, I've had a couple questions recently about my DIY, my homebrew cure unit that I use for the Sprint Ray Pro. So let me preface with this. I use this for models um, they, and surgical guides maybe, but well, yes. And then otherwise we use our Pro Cure unit, which I've shown before it's in my, uh, by my printers, okay? So I use that for anything that has to be in the mouth long-term, like a denture, a uh, provisional, a night guard, anything like that. But for things that are mainly just gonna be handled, um, I, the, this is where I think this is pretty useful. Again, nothing, the Cure unit, if you have it, go ahead and use it. But this is if you want something mainly for models and that kind of thing. Um, okay, so what it, how this works is my, I've shown in previous videos how for the Moonray print bed, we take two of these nail curing beds, the nail curing lamps, and we quite, little, quite literally just tape them together. So there's two separate units. Each one's like 25 bucks. Now I did have to grind two areas here and here so that the print bed slides right in there and nestles in there. So you, if you watched my videos before, you may have seen that. And so that's worked great over the years, okay? Um, now, with the Super Pro, the curing bed is much bigger, so that there, it doesn't matter how much you grind it, it's just not gonna fit in there. Um, and so, how I keep things on there and still fit is I take the two nail curing beds, the same ones, I had these lying around, and I'll explain how that actually affected me negatively, but. These two, um, I taped them together lengthwise instead. You can't really tell that well, but you can see the seam. Two units stacked together where the openings are next to each other. So if you look inside, I've literally taken a box, just a random box that was slightly oversized. This happened to be from Salvin Dental Supplies. Where did you get your box doesn't matter. I wanted it to be tall enough so that things could hang off of this, you know, this far and still not touch the bottom. So, and people have asked before, why do I like to cure things on here? Well, I like to wash them suspended in my wash units, and then that way I don't have to mess with them. I can literally take this out of the print, out of the curing, the printer, set it in my wash unit, get it washing, take it off, wipe it off, and set it in the cure unit. It keeps things from potentially distorting when you remove them, but it also makes less work, because if I remove every object, I have to put each one in the curing unit. So I like having one be able to cure on the end. At the end, they're so hard and rigid, they pop off easier too because they don't flex as much. Personal preference, you don't have to do it. But if you're wondering how I do it, this is how, very simple. Two lights, tape them together, have a box taped on top with a hole that is literally just, I just took the measurements and drew it and put it on there. Cup, one note, I replaced the light bulbs with these, okay? They are actually 365 by 405 nanometer LED lights. So let me just pull one out. And this is what they look like. It's a strip of LED lights, okay? And this is actually, we're wanting the 405 nanometer light wavelength, okay? So these should last longer. They should provide more consistent light. So you're not worried about, is my light going bad? And don't really realize it, not getting the intensity I want. Um, Plus, it's giving you that wavelength you want. So all the above, uh, longer lasting, more consistency, and the proper wavelength. And other than that, do notice that uh, if you would come over here for a second, Slater, look right inside this, you will see that this unit on the left actually has them facing the inside. Whereas this one's an older one, you can see this is tipped at the wrong angle. I didn't even notice that until I was getting ready to make this video. If you look at my old Kieran unit, they're all perfectly like a square. So I'm, I'm going to end up replacing that other unit just simply because I didn't realize that. So there is that one catch. Make sure the, the UV nail lamp you get doesn't have that like turned in. I don't know why they designed it like that at all, but they did. So um, with their fluorescent bulbs, it probably doesn't really matter because they're round and they you know uh, throw the light out in all direction. But anyway, um, that's just a weird thing I noticed before making the video. So anyway, two lights, a box, get these. They're like 25 bucks for a set of them, maybe 30 bucks. It's really not that expensive. I know that is expensive as a light, but they should last you almost forever. So um, I think that's it. Okay, so one more thing, come on over here. I just wanna show you what they look like when they're on. I don't know that that really, anyone really cares, but, um, yeah, so you can see the blue light that's eliminated, emitted. So anyway, that's it.